so all of it all cleaved up it. Okay, this is be measured and we're going to cut and it's going to fit. How did you measure it? With tape measure and I, I made a, like a little template out of paper. Can you mind your back? Mind your fingers, Paul. And the wire. Do you need me to hold anything? No. Voila. See, see. Now this is going to fit. Let me put the camera inside so you can witness this feat of measuring. Wood. One, two, three more panels I think needs to be cut around this. Oh. oh, hello guys. Yeah, I spent the whole morning just putting the wood, cutting the wood, putting it down. It looks really great, but don't let that fool you. I need to put more strips underneath to stop it from bowing. It's quite thin wood um, board, but I want it a little thin because obviously it's not a high roof van, is it? As you can see, it's really coming along now. Bulkhead out, floors down. I've got to put the insulation underneath and everything. Do all that stuff. 
sound deadening I've still got to finish off on the floor and the arches I know there's big gaps around the edges but I'm going to fill that with uh, foam and uh, Sigaplex so it'll all clean up but no one's really going to see it I mean it's all going to be covered really isn't it yeah it's not really um, a DIY channel this just my vlog this is just what I'm doing hi guys well it's been quite an eventful week this week I've laid the floor with the underlay and cleaned it and everything I've put insulation on some of the walls sound deadening I'm now working on this wall it's got a window in it now and I'm going to use the old board but my predicament is I need to cut where the window is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a tripod I like this you place the tripod down you get this which is a laser put it on the tripod and what I want you to imagine I'm going to do it on that one I want you to imagine that we're doing it on that wall this is my plan okay you can just about see it though isn't it so what I've got to do is I've got to line the laser up to the bottom of the of the window say there make it a bit tighter so I can move and leave it's about it's not working very well is it You get the idea. You can barely see it. My thinking was to line it up with a window, put um, a bit of cardboard down, draw the line, do the same with the laser that way, and basically I'll get a square, and then I can work from the square to get the. Uh, Thing, my delivery's just come. Yeah. Oh, I don't think you recorded last time. I basically out of breath because I've done loads of unpacking. I've put it up there on a mount, magnetic mount, and I've lined it basically to the underneath of that window. So in theory, I could put some cardboard there, and that'll give me the bottom of the window. And then what I do is I do the same put the top of the window there along that line there I suppose and then there on the sides none you know it's got a cross there if I can be really good maybe I could get the cross so I can do the bottom and the you know get the square so all I'm after is the square um, the rest I can sort of you know tweak as it were and that's how I was thinking about getting the width of the window position of the window on top of that board the board's actually out here like that I don't know maybe I'm overthinking it I have to ponder on it but the laser seems to be a really cool way of doing it obviously it's going to move I suppose when I well, it's not really it's actually doing pretty well I have to position it and tighten it really tight so it 
doesn't move. Well, one is a line, and the line, and the line, and the line, and I've got a square. And then, but I think I'm going to have to get a bit of board that will cover from up here, which is where the board's going to be. So this is too small, obviously. I need quite a big board, wouldn't I? That's my thing. Probably overthinking it. But you know what it's like. <laughs> yeah. I bet most people would say, why don't you just measure down? Which probably would work as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. <sighs> okay, just a recap on what I've done this week in my vlog. So, I can't remember what vlog number we're up to now, 39 I think. Anyway, since I've got the van, now what I've done this week is I've cleaned the floor up, done all the bits and bobs I need to do. I've also um, cut the wood to size on top. I've got battens down so it doesn't bow so much because the wood's quite thin. I still need to screw the, the floor down. I've put some insulation on over there. I've put sound deadening on all over the place, even on the floor. I need to do that side still. I'm going to reuse this wood, which I think I mentioned just a minute ago. Cut the windows out. So this is all going to be, I'm going to put um, cut carpet over the top of this wood as well just to make it look a bit better not sure what I'm going to do down there the mattress has come I had a custom mattress made that's going to go at the back here it's a single mattress but it's really thick um, the reason I've got that laser is for when I do a hole I can get that cross onto the hole I don't know if you can see it, that cross will be marking the hole then when I put the wood on top I know where to drill that's the plan on that that was the original reason for the laser I thought it was quite a good idea um, what else have I done in here oh I did treat this wood as well, the board with a very light coating of that stuff that stops it from getting um, mould and stuff I'll do the same with that wall there I'll treat it before I put the carpet on top so it will actually look pretty good when, when that's done I'm going to put trim down the edge just to make it look a bit better yeah it's all coming along indeedy thanks for all my subscribers I know we haven't got many in the community at the moment but we'll get there if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe it's really motivational as you know if you've seen any of the videos I'll do I'm doing all this because of my mental health to help me get out and keep me occupied and do you know because I've got um, cardio problems as well so this is a real big challenge for me I actually got told off by the cardiology department for doing this but I'm just doing it bit by bit and we'll get there Anyway, once again, thanks for, thanks for joining the community and following my channel and my vlogs. I know I'm not like a star. It's just my vlog. Um, but hopefully we'll get out on the road and start seeing some of the British countryside and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, talk again soon. Be good out there and keep safe. Yeah, bye for now. Oh, what a day, guys. Um... I know I keep repeating myself because I really don't know where I am at with these videos. I am so knackered. Yeah, done all that business in the van. I'm sure you've all seen it by now, those bits. And I even think I said my goodbyes already. Anyway, today, this beast came. It's a Power Oak, 2,000 watt hours, 
power out, and that's what's going to power everything in, in the back of the van. And it's a good reviews. It weighs a ton, though I must say, really heavy. I haven't actually. I've probably just taken it out of the box, but I'll do a better review on it once it's all set up. But I'll tell you what I did do, because you know what some people do is they run a lead out of this socket, the cigarette light socket, and they run that out into a fuse box. And then all the electrics in the van run off the fuse box, powered by this. But what this comes with is this 12 stroke 25 amp adapter thing which you really have to hunt down. I'm going to put it in the link below once I do the review on it. And that will give you a better output to your fuse box. For things like the, um, I believe the diesel heater on the, if you use a cigarette lighter, cuts the machine off. It's a safety feature. But on the adapter, it's got a higher voltage. So in theory, I haven't tested this yet, but in theory, it won't cut it out, which means you can still run your diesel heater off your fuse box from this generator. Yeah, it's got um, 240 volt, two sockets there, so you can put an extension lead on it. It's got USB sockets. It's even got wireless charging on top. So when I put it in the van, I'm going to have to do a cabinet around it and still have access to the top if I want to use the wireless charging, which I probably do. And I like it because it's portable and I can bring it out of the van if I'm not camping. And that way it doesn't get stolen because it ain't cheap. Like I said, I'll do a better review once I've used it and set it up. It's all new to me at the moment, but I just thought I'd just show you the power generator, solar power generator that I'm using. It's the uh, Power Oak 2000 watt beast. Yeah. Anyway, talk to you soon.